Welcome back to the Cars of Queens YouTube channel. Today we have the old 2H85, quite possibly the most photographed of the last few Crown Victoria New York City taxi cabs. And we have it in our possession today, 2H85. This one is the third to last ever Ford Crown Victoria to exit service as a New York City taxi cab. And right now we have an up close look at the unique opportunity whatever we want to it because I had I have just purchased this car so inside is about as typical as you guys would expect from a car like this you know it's surprisingly in nice condition for you know the mileage which is what we're, we're about to see right now so let's see can we see it no the odometer isn't reading right now but um, we're probably gonna plug in a scan tool and try to see if we can get it uh, in a little bit so we have the onboard cameras we have the signature broken cup holder that every crown victoria has to come with and um this is actually the first time that the car has been started in a long time it's actually been sitting here since its retirement and replacement uh subsequently with this uh 2022 toyota rav4 surprisingly the tlc did not require them to purchase a wheelchair accessible vehicle um so this one's this one much like uh 2w34 definitely battle scarred on the streets of new york city over 400 000 miles uh quite possibly over 500 000 miles we we don't know um because the odometer obviously uh, is not lighting up right now but Maybe uh, in the nighttime, we'll be able to take a look at the odometer. And as you guys can see, the roof is pretty much the only part of this car with unmolested paint. Pretty much every single body panel of this car has had lots of touch-ups, many, many different shades of yellow. This car is maybe five or six different shades of yellow, much like 2W34. But that's the life that these cabs live. and there is uh you know nothing wrong with it i mean you guys know that these this is pretty much a business when you have a new york city taxi cab the medallion is pretty much a promise that uh you'll be given the exclusive right to pick up street hill uh passengers in new york city which you know nothing else can replicate besides kind of green cabs but this can pick up in manhattan where all the money is so Obviously, there's going to be cost cutting in any business. So obviously, the cars are not maintained like you would maintain a car you particularly care about. They're looked at more as appliances by their owners. And, you know, who can blame them? But, of course, you guys know me. I like to fix everything on these cars and, you know, treat them very well into their retirement. Now, getting the car out of the driveway of the owner-operator was the most cumbersome part of this whole ordeal. In typical cabby fashion, they lied and said, there's nothing wrong with the car. Mind you, the car had trouble shifting and it had no power steering whatsoever uh, due to having absolutely no fluid. But this was quickly remedied with some transmission fluid slash power steering fluid and the car drove fine afterwards. So now here comes the fun part. We're gonna be running the codes on this car. So as you guys can see, we have five codes on the screen, P112, P2104, another pending uh, 2104, 2112 again, and then 2197. So I actually already looked up some of these codes and basically I need a new throttle body in this car. Another thing I did notice is that the car is misfiring just a little bit. As you guys can see, it's kind of achy. As soon as I got into it, I, I just felt this vibration, the shake, you know, totally common with any used car that you might be purchasing. So I'm not really all too worried about that. Um, let's take a look under the hood. Going under the hood, it was a struggle fighting with the hood latch on these older cars. I noticed that hood latch is really, really hard to open, especially on these Crown Victorias on a freezing cold day like today. Uh, the metals um, obviously change sizes, so it becomes harder to open, uh, you know, certain locks and doors. The usual problems are on these cars is the intake manifold and the transmission. And thankfully this car uh, does not have those problems, but it also has some other usual problems the valve cover gasket i noticed is leaking a little bit of oil not a big deal but uh, but uh, more importantly the car is pretty quiet 
as far as a uh, Crown Vic, not too many, uh, not really any leaks or squeaks or anything like that. Um, but yeah, the throttle body is definitely going to have to get replaced very soon. But for now, the car does run and drive pretty well. Another problem I noticed with this car is that the power steering is pretty bad at low speeds. But, you know, the, the power steering pump or the lines are probably leaking. But other than that, it's pretty solid. I mean, with a car that has nearly 500,000 miles, I really cannot complain about things like this. So, I gotta say, man, solid, solid car. We have one ball tire on this car, but the other tires seem to be in pretty good shape. We have relatively new Goodyear's on the back. But overall, the car is, is quite nice for 500,000 miles, I must say. As you guys can see, all the lights are working and we do have a functioning roof light as well. In regarding the fact that it came with the uh, TV, which are usually leased, which means that they do not belong to the cab driver. They belong to CMT or Verifone or whatever company that they do lease the uh, TVs from. So the TVs pretty much are never uh, with the car. but. As you guys can see, long wheelbase, New York City taxi package, exclusive, a rear air vents, and this is the cockpit view. And we also have these door handles. These door handles came standard on town cars, but in Crown Victorias, in order to get one, you had to get the New York City taxi package uh, long wheelbase in order to get it. And that pretty much concludes our video of 2H85, the third to the last Ford Crown Victoria New York City taxi cab to ever grace the streets of New York City uh, for medallion taxi cab service. Originally purchased new at Bronx Ford, which is now City World Ford. And I did also purchase its sister car to W34, which released a little while before. So it's very cool that I got to uh, experience both cars, own both of them, do reviews and document every part of the process. I hope you guys are enjoying this taxi content. Um, I know this is what most of you guys are subscribed to me for. So if you guys are, be sure to leave a thumbs up, be sure to comment and subscribe and uh, see you guys on the next video.